Hello and welcome back to the MMA bar. Today we're going to discuss the legendary Rickson Gracie and the secret Gracie breathing technique which he popularized through his book and documentaries. Sit back and learn how to forever upgrade your breathing game. If you're familiar with mixed martial arts or BJJ, you must know of Rickson Gracie. Rickson was regarded as one of the greatest ever in MMA and he was partly responsible for bringing the sport to the mainstream through his exciting displays at Pride Fighting Championship in Japan. One thing about Rickson which captivated his audience in particular was his breathing techniques. This came to prominence in the 1995 documentary Choke, which is considered a classic watch for any MMA or BJJ fan. During choke, Rickson was able to demonstrate incredible breathing exercises where his stomach could deflate massively. This technique has been credited by Rickson as one of the keys to his success, and it is true. For those who compete, breathing is massively important. If you cannot control your breathing, then you will struggle and it can ruin your ability to act and think straight. And for me, breathing was always a, not a problem, but it was something which when you get panic, you panic, man. Everything, all the strategy, all the thinking, all the... the Here's what Rickson had to say on that. Knowing how to breathe for those who fight is more important than knowing how to swim is for those who surf. With this said, it is incredible that back in MMA's primitive years in the mid-90s, Rickson was doing something so advanced. This breathing technique is called Gymnastica Natural and combines yoga with muscle movement patterns. It is also used by his son, Kron Gracie, who even goes as far as to say you can reach a meditative stance by controlling your breathing patterns. This state is also referred to as holotropic breathwork, which is used to bring a peaceful state through breathing. Originally, the Gymnastica Natural breathing technique was founded by Alvaro Romano, a black belt under Rolls Gracie. Several great mixed martial artists such as Damien Maia, Georges St. Pierre, Vitor Belford, and Anderson and Silva have all tested and approved this method. In short, there is a long list of those who have benefited from this breathing method, including the Brazilian football legend Delima Ronaldo who used it in his run-up to the 2002 World Cup. August of 2021, Rickson Gracie released a book on his legendary breathing technique. The book is co-authored by Peter Maguire and in it, he also shares the roots of Gracie Jiu Jitsu, the battles he incurred by protecting the honor of the Gracie family name, along with the high points and low moments, including the tragic death of his son, and how being a Jiu Jitsu icon helped shape and reshape him today. In the documentary, Rickson sits in a lotus position and uses the very specific forceful breathing method. At the same time, he involves his abdominal wall to what might seem to be an extreme degree, but this is necessary for making this breathing method so efficient and beneficial. Rickson Gracie and all members of the Gracie use this special method of breathing when doing jujitsu. The techniques involve a normal inhalation followed by several short, sharp exhalations. When asked in a seminar, Rickson said this about the breathing technique. Our breathing system works in the opposite way that we think, because the inhale is the bad motion. The more air you need, the more that you need to clean the air. I highly recommend you guys learn how to breathe. Use the diaphragm action. To train jujitsu, to make love, whatever you do, breathing will help you immensely. I guarantee you 100%. This was one of the Gracie family's best kept secrets for many years. This breathing technique can increase the expansion of the ribcage and the amount of air exchanged through the lungs. The deeper you breathe, the more oxygen you bring into the system. Like everything skilled in life, it may take years to master properly. However, there are three basic rules to start Rickson's breathing patterns. The first is to breathe in and try to suck your stomach inwards. The next step is to try and hold this position for as long as possible without passing out. And when you feel close to fainting, then breathe in. After breathing in, repeat the process. There is another aspect of breathing that's helpful, and that is the mental aspect. Using the Rickson Gracie breathing method will help you develop peace of mind and calmness that has a carryover to the mats. It also ties in with the physical aspect of things, given that the calmer fighters usually breathe better and tire out less. Of course, there is more to Rickson's method than this simplified version, but the idea is to efficiently store oxygen in your body so you can function properly. In short, this will avoid any panic and help you fight better. One of the problems with competing in BJJ is controlling breathing, which can lead to less oxygen and therefore less efficient choices or movements. Because of this, learning to breathe is of vital importance to avoid an adrenaline dump. A similar style to Rickson's methods of breathing can be seen with Wim Hof. The Dutch native has managed to put his body into freezing temperatures and still be able to breathe with ease. Like the Gymnastica Natural method, this is done by entering a calm state by getting as much oxygen into your body as possible. Wim Hof also advocates his methods to attack inflammatory diseases and says it aids recovery. Oddly, Rickson Gracie starred in the 2008 version of The Incredible Hulk. Here, Rickson taught Edward Norton, who played the Hulk, the ability to control his breathing. Ironically, Rickson Gracie was credited with the role of an Aikido instructor. This is funny 
considering he has dedicated his life to teaching others about the benefits of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. A theme of his teachings is that through a combination of mindset and breathwork, it's possible to fight through most types of uncomfortable moments, no matter the size of the situation or the opponent. Rickson said, My worst enemy was my brain telling me to quit. From that point on, I decided to never let my mind work against me. To Rickson, breathing is pure jujitsu. You must seek maximum efficiency with minimum effort. And the result of this doesn't just come down to feeling like you have more stamina and resistance. According to Rickson, the benefit isn't limited to just the muscles. Your brain is going to work better when your lung works better. And this is the secret that changes everything. At age 62, after decades of forcing opponents to tap out, the Brazilian jujitsu icon now spends his mornings tapping into a mindfulness ritual of meditation and yoga, followed by surfing the Pacific waves. As injuries have caused him to scale back his practice, Gracie proudly takes on the role of teacher and global ambassador. He passes down his expertise of rear naked chokes and other tap-out classics to his legions of students through his online academy. Seven of Gracie's 11 professional MMA wins, mostly fought in Japan during the 90s, ended with submissions via rear naked choke. The other four were by armbar and punches to the face. But even for BJJ's best, as his hand was always raised in victory, the pit of his stomach was filled with anxiety and doubt during his early bouts. But when learning how to breathe from an instructor, things began to slowly click. His first was a three 10-minute round bout against an unbeaten gigantic opponent, King Zulu, who was 50 pounds heavier and more than a decade older than 19-year-old Gracie. Rickson Gracie recalled, I was dead tired. I asked my dad to stop the fight because I was completely exhausted. He didn't even listen to me. He told me that Zulu was exhausted and now was my time to beat him. Then, just before the bell rings, my brother throws a bucket filled with ice water on my head. Within three minutes, I finished him with a rear naked choke. Rickson shares his breathing system a lot in seminars and places great value on it. His son, Kron, who currently fights in the UFC, is also a big fan of the Ricks and Gracie breathing method and has been featured using it in his preparations for fights. Simply put, breathing is the piece of the puzzle very few consider, but everyone needs it. Overall, Ricks and Gracie's method is great in teaching you how to breathe in jujitsu. It has been proven by himself at the highest level alongside various other MMA champions and athletes, so there must be something to it. By controlling your breathing, you can also control your body, which is crucial in a BJJ setting. Because of this, we strongly suggest you give it a go and try to use it next time in your training. Guys, thank you for watching the video. That's all for now. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell.